Hi Aries, I'm Brenda and I'm here again today to bring you your weekly Angel Tarot card reading for the week of August the 8th to August the 15th, 2016. I want to thank you for your interest in my channel here on YouTube and for liking, sharing and viewing these videos that I put out there with your friends and family members. I want to thank all those people, the new people stepping forward and requesting private readings with me to my circle and blessings to all my returned clients. As you know, this is strictly a general reading and every single card does not pertain to every single day of the week for every single person in the universe. But if you would like clarity, accuracy and any answers to questions, I welcome and invite you to go to my personal website and that is www. Brenda Tarot, spelled T-A-R-O, dot info. See you soon, Aries. We start our week on Monday with a major card, and you have been given the moon. The moon is all about uh, events that can be going on behind the scenes. And in some cases, it shows me that maybe there's some secrets being held back behind some of your backs that you may want to know about. But... This card also tells me that you need to release any uh, any feelings of the insecurity right now because they're stemming from irrational, uh, irrational and unreal concerns. This is all about self-awareness and to overcome any past blocks that have kept you from moving forward, that have held you back. It's all about awareness of yourself also and, and awakening to the truth about yourself. You've kept hidden to yourself as well. Know that you're a brilliant light. I tell people this all the time. The moon may come out in the dark, but it is an extremely bright ball of light. Tuesday, King of Air. Air cards have to do with the chaos and the negative issues and situations that have to do with judgment and people that bring that chaos into our lives. And this is all about making just and fair decisions and choices yourself. This particular card is telling me that you need to speak your mind with confidence. And in order to do that, you're going to seek out advice from someone who's wiser than you, some professional, perhaps a lawyer, because these cards have to do with legal issues as well. It has to do with the justice and the injustice. So please seek out someone who can help you stand on your platform and speak confidently and speak your own peace and defend yourself. You need to balance yourself mentally and emotionally in order to do this. But if you seek out that help, you'll be fine. Crowning your week on Wednesday, you've been given an Earth card. Earth cards have to do with our jobs, our professions, how we bring that abundance into our lives. Uh, can have to do with Mother Nature, the ecosystem, and our closest circle, which is our families. This is telling me that there's good news about finance, finances for some of you. And that you are, they're showing you that you're wanting to do something more challenging with your job. Because they show me that some of you are actually looking into taking a new, uh, a new form of study to enhance that. Boy, this is a great card. They don't get much better than that. The world. So, Thursday the world. This is all about a perfection, a job well done. Uh, some of you that have made accomplishments, it's showing me. You need to commend yourself for this because um, you've worked hard for what you've got. Um, it's, it's, it's a card of joy and contentment and gratitude and knowing that you're on the path of enlightenment. This can refer to uh, things that you're going to be receiving in the form of maybe an award, a new house, or a job, or a new position at your place of employment. But anyway, feel the freedom of a job well done, my friend, coming into you. Friday, a water card. The three of water. Water cards are our relationship cards, sometimes intimate and romantic, and other times not. This is telling me that there will be a celebration, and that celebration uh, may be a wedding, a graduation, or perhaps a, an announcement of a baby coming in. But they're telling me that you need to have more fun and that you will be going to that type of an event soon. On Saturday, you've been given another Earth card, and this is the Ace of Earth. Aces are the beginnings of anything in any of these suits, and this is telling me that there will be the inflow of abundance. You're going to start seeing some abundance coming into you now. It can be in the form of time, effort, and or money. I do see a very promising business venture coming into some of you, because I see important documents and contracts being signed. Sunday, the end of the week, another air card, but this is the Ace of Air. 
So you've had two of these air cards that have to do with legal issues and or uh, the injustice people bring in. They're telling me now that there will be some new ideas coming into you and they actually uh, are going to come in the form of, as being brilliant ideas and inspiring. You're going to be able to see the truth in a situation right now coming into you and know that it will be a bit challenging at the beginning. At the end of the reading, I did incorporate that one oracle card and it is the Ascended Masters deck. This is what they gave you, my friend. Detach from drama. Pretty self-explanatory. You don't need to allow everybody else's drama to enter the equation. You don't own it. It doesn't belong to you. Let it go. Don't allow it in. Don't enable it to come into your life. Get rid of that drama. Get rid of those that bring it. Walk away from that situation. Don't allow it into your life. I wish you a great remainder to today and a wonderful optimistic week to look forward to, Aries. Again, I leave you with another quote. And the quote I chose today is, Happiness starts with you. Not with your relationships, not with your job, not with your money, but with you, my friend. Think about that. See you again next week. And know that I continue to stand in that circle of light for you, my friend, Aries.